I don't make any money on any of these products, on any of the sales. I'm just providing a reference for you. I haven't been paid to introduce any of these tools to you. Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. Here near the bottom of the playlist, we're gonna find a Bluetooth OBD2 scanner. It looks like this. Now I've used one of these quite a few times. I used to have one and I ended up giving it to my little brother. This is pretty nice. You have to have a smartphone that can download the app for it. And it's pretty rudimentary, but it's, a, it's a pretty similar to this one. You might've seen it in the other video. If not, check it out. Because if you're thinking about this one, that one's probably pretty similar, although a little bit more expensive. So this is the best option in my opinion for somebody who's trying to do it as a DIY hobby or just fix their car so it can pass emissions or something like that. It's not going to give you all the data you need so you have to be willing to know hey if I can't figure this out you're going to save money in the long run just getting a correct diagnosis by a trusted mechanic. So you know usually spending a hundred dollars on a good diagnosis is going to save you in the long run and this tool is a lot cheaper than that so it's going to help you in most things but not everything. But by the time you need that scan tool that can do a lot more than this, you're gonna have to have a lot more knowledge and experience as well. So this is a great, great option for DIY mechanics or again, college student or somebody just trying to pass emissions. You download the app on your phone and it'll show you information about your car. It'll show you some data trouble codes and some freeze frame information. It can mostly just read, depends on the model that you get, engine codes. You're not really gonna see things like airbag and ABS and you're not gonna have functions like resetting a battery or oil light or anything like that, but on most vehicles you can do that without a scan tool. So I just Google stuff like that. Again, usually around the $30 range, there will be a link in the description. I'll put one down there that I, the one that I've used before, one that I recommend if I find one that's better since it's been a few years since I had one of those. This is gonna be a quick little video, but again, you know, if you're just looking to do something cheap, on the cheap, you know, get your own car back on the road, oh, hey, my check engine light came on, what is it, you know? Just figure out if, you know, it's something serious or not, this is a good option for you if you need to decide, hey, I can fix it myself, ignore it or take it to a mechanic to get a correct diagnosis. This will give you an idea of where to go. If it can graph, it's pretty rudimentary, just like the other one. It may not record data, but being on your phone, you could always screen record it. And some of these don't even show you live data, let alone graph it. So kind of hit or miss, you gotta do some researching with these, I'll do some for you and I'll put a couple of options at, in the link in the description. I'm sure one that's a little bit better is gonna be a little bit more expensive, so I'll just mark them down there. And uh, if this is what you're looking for, check out the links in the description. That's a job well done.